So here I am with another camera challenge. This is, what the, what the heck is this? Minolta Auto Pack 400X. So this thing is kind of bare bones. And when I mean kind of, I mean a lot of. Very, very bare bones, this thing. So basically this thing takes a type of film that doesn't exist anymore. It takes 226 film. So basically it had a cartridge that you'd pop in and it would roll up into the other side of the, the cartridge. I'll show a picture right here. Right in here is the place where the cartridge would go into. So in order to shoot with it now, I had to modify it only a little bit. So basically the inside had to be modified in order to accept the 35 millimeter, which is a little bit smaller and it wouldn't actually catch these type of gears inside. So basically what I did was, I'll show a picture here, I cut into the top of the canister, actually the part that winds, so it would fit into these little notches. And then since it's smaller, I had to kind of put little shims underneath, so I just cut some like cardboard and just shoved it in. But the other thing was I needed to unroll basically everything and shove it into this side. So when it advanced, it would pull into the canister. Also the back here um, was a window, so I had to just cover that up. I used some aluminum foil because aluminum foil is basically the catch all thing that won't let light through. The other thing that really I thought was kind of cool about this camera is that the window, the frame, is a little bit smaller and every time the film advanced, it doesn't pull it through the entire frame. So with a 35 millimeter film, every frame will overlap a little bit, which I thought was kind of cool. So for this challenge, I decided to load this up and I was gonna bring it to my cousin's wedding. I basically shot all day with this and shot a landscape, some people, a drink. Basically, I was going for a slice of life of the whole day. My intention was to scan the film almost as a video, so all the overlapping frames would show up together and they would run together. It was really, really fun actually shooting with it. This is what I ended up with, and I think it's pretty cool. So, so basically what I think happened here was um, the film wasn't riding exactly where the, the cartridge would ride. I guess maybe the cartridge, the film was a little bit further back because as you can see, certain things are in focus and a lot of things aren't in focus. So I think that's probably the reason. It seems like things close up were okay, but things that were kind of normal distance weren't. But I still think it was a cool result um, not something that I would do all the time, but it was actually pretty interesting how people reacted to this because it was it was kind of a novelty. It was kind of funny. Um, I could pass it around. I don't care if it gets, you know, dinged up per se. And I got a few laughs, which was fun. And it, it wasn't about taking anything too seriously. So if I was going to shoot with this again, I would definitely try to 3D print a actual cartridge for this camera. I'll put a link to the thing that I'm looking at basically in the comment section. Um, and as always, if you think I passed the challenge, I think this might be a little borderline with the finished images, but I gotta say for the challenge, this was really fun. Like I said, it was fun to shoot with it. And if the film, if everything came in focus, I would have had, you know, been less disappointed with the results, but I still had a lot of fun. And I think the cartridge will set the film back enough that more things will be in focus. So if I was gonna revisit this one, I would definitely do that.